Yo, what's going on guys? It's Scott here, and today we're going to be looking at what the Lakers rotation could look like next season. Reportedly, LeBron James will be the Lakers starting point guard alongside Danny Green in the backcourt. It was to be expected that LeBron would handle the ball more than anyone, but with this official report that he'll be the point guard, it gives us an idea as to what the starting lineup could look like. Then with Danny Green in the backcourt, it looks like the Lakers will start an actual wing player at the three spot, rather than putting in a guy like Caruso or Quinn Cook as a secondary ball handler. It's still uncertain who all the starters will be, but considering the egos involved in the glamour of a starting lineup, I'd expect it to be LeBron, Green, Kuzma, AD, and Cousins. This wouldn't be my preferred starting five, and we'll look at a couple alternatives, but that's just what seems likely right now. For the starters minutes, I have AD playing 35, LeBron playing 33, Kuzma at 31, Cousins at 29, and Green at 27. AD has always played around 35 minutes, so that's why I have him that high, but he can easily take less with JaVale available on the bench. I know it's a bit on the lower end for LeBron, but the Lakers should look to load manage him throughout the season considering his usage will be very high as a lead ball handler. Then I'd expect Cousins minutes to depend heavily on matchups and if he's actually starting or not. The rest of the minutes are KCP at 20, Bradley with 19, Rondo and McGee with a little bit more than a quarter, and then both Cook and Caruso at 9. I know Cook and Caruso's minutes are quite low, but I think at the start of the season with LeBron playing point guard and Rondo being Rondo, they'll take up a bulk of the point guard minutes so it'll be hard to find minutes for those guys. They also won't get a lot of minutes at the wing spots with the recent Avery Bradley edition. There will be plenty of shakeups throughout the season with injuries and adjustments, so I don't think they'll stick for very long. This is what the rotation looks like. The key things I focused on was to stagger LeBron and Rondo completely so that each of them can lead the offense on their own, and then AD and JaVale are staggered as well to give AD a little bit extra space to finish at the rim. Then I also made sure the second unit always has a primary scoring option with Kuzma or AD chipping in. With that start, Starting five, the bench lacks a scoring punch, so it's important the Lakers keep one of those guys or even LeBron on the floor at all times. For the closing lineup, I replaced Cousins with KCP, but it could also be Bradley. Cousins could be in there depending on the matchup, but most teams run a lot of high screen and roll late in games, and that could be an issue for him defensively, so I put in a more switch friendly player. If you'd like to download this rotation on Xbox, you first need to download Brian D for 3's 2K20 roster before starting a new My League, and then once you get into My League, go to the coach game plan and press the menu button for rotation timeline. Press Y to load rotations and search for Scottball 07 and it's under the name Lakers 19 slash 20. Now for the starting lineup ideas I have, I think the best options would be either LeBron, KCP, Green, Kuzma, and AD, or LeBron, KCP, Green, AD, and Cousins. I think either one of these would be better than the first rotation because it gives LeBron a player that can defend opposing point guards for him and KCP while still maintaining your primary wing defender in Green. Then it gives gives the second unit a primary scoring option with either Kuzma or Cousins, without the need to mix up the starting lineup and bench as much. It really just helps balance out the rotation with some scoring power in the front court and provides both the starting lineup and second unit the right amount of floor spacers. It'll be interesting to see how the coaching staff decides the starting lineup and how that plays into who gets minutes off the bench. That's all I have for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Lakers content like this, then make sure you subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.